So I had a an agent on my show a couple of weeks back and we talked about being authentic when you're trying to build a brand, right? right? So just because somebody comes to you from, you know, John Deere and say, hey, sign here to promote my tractors. If you've never ridden a tractor, if you never looked at a tractor, people it are going to say, wow, sense. this doesn't match, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you can put yourself into a hole by doing something like that. Um, so you really need to think about your brand first right? and then attract people that fit into your brand more so than just saying, oh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll promote your drink for $50. I'll do this for $100. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so yeah. it's tricky business for sure. It is, but that's why you need to know who you are. Yeah. You know, we got too many people walking around in a facade, you know, walking around as people that have been groomed to do one thing. And if you think about, I know that you're in a different part of medicine and orthopedics, but if you think about the mental component of athletes and professional athletes and what happens to them and the huge dip that they take, you know, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, when the sport yeah. ends for them, they, oh, most yeah. of them are not ready for it. And I hate have keep, you know, keep having to have this conversation about it because it's something that we could truly change. But it's like when somebody puts that amount of money in front of you, you never seen that before it's it has a completely different impact right um so i really hope that we can help athletes to not look at how big the dollar sign is but really figure out who they are because when you know who you are you know what you need to do it's easier for you to be able to save pay what you need to pay invest in what you need to invest in responsibly, you know, and move on with your life. People who don't know who they are, they're constantly looking for validation. They're constantly looking for people to be their friend. And the problem is they've never had real people around them in the first place. Everybody has always been around them based on what they think they can do or where they're going to go, you know, and so they hold on for the paycheck. Mm -hmm. So when the paycheck comes, they're still around and they're still drying out that athlete and the athlete never realizes until they lose everything and then no one's there right right so speak about you know we talked about value right so your value is always going to be more than what somebody's willing to pay you correct Um, because when they come to you they already know Mm -hmm. i'm going to give you this amount but trust me i'm going to profit even more Um, so your value is more than that So you have to know how to leverage who you are to Mm -hmm. be able to negotiate, number one, because there always is room for negotiation. Yeah. Um, And to be able to leverage your relationships. And you mentioned the relationships. This could be more than a paycheck. But if you can go to the corporate meetings for this company or if you can own shares in the company, that might be more, far more valuable than a paycheck. You know, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And if you get a paycheck, you got to pay taxes on it. Come on now. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree. Totally agree. So yeah. how are you offering your your wisdom and your knowledge to these university athletes or how do they get in touch with you or to just to learn about what the legal aspects or ramifications of some of these contracts may be? The way that a lot of them are reaching me are through other professionals that I have been connected with or building relationships with and through the brands. Um, so athletes making moves, a lot of them are coming through there because that's really the brand that is for the student athlete. Um, And then also the NIL combine. So we just recently launched that this year on the back of the Athletes Making Moves book launch, which occurred in 2021. Um, But that is a way for them to understand and see, not just from the legal side, but all of the other stuff like banking. We had a finance panel to talk about budgeting and banking and you know how to really make your money work for you versus yeah. you just sitting there throwing money away we even had i think it was one guy on the finance panel talk about insurance you know so if you go and you're you got ten dollars a month if you put that into some type of insurance vehicle you may be able to if anything protect yourself if something happens you know injury wise But you may also be able to just invest a little of something to make your money work for you versus just throwing it away. Um, So it's important that athletes have a holistic view of what's 
included in being an entrepreneur, right? Protecting that NIL, because as soon as you begin to negotiate with anyone about how you will utilize any form or all of name, image, and likeness, you are in business. And let me just back up because if someone gives you a scholarship to come and play for their school, you're already in business. There's been a transaction around your athleticism, something that you do, something that you bring to the table. And so we have to, you know, make a switch in terms of our value, as you said, what we bring to the table, because you you are already in business, right? Mm -hmm. So now that you know that, what are we going to start doing to make sure that we are safeguarding all of those pillars around us, around who we are and around the assets, the NIL, right, that we own, so. Yeah, 